today we're going to go over the marking of a script. This is our first script. It is called Money. It is what we call fully scripted. All the dialogue is in the script. So we're not going to be improving anything. All the dialogue is there. When I mark a script, the first thing I want to do is figure out what my floor plan is going to look like. That means where are people sitting and what are my cameras looking at. That's my studio. Right now I know that I have a talent here and a talent over here. I am going to go and put Ryan on the, on the back set that normally has a chroma key, but we're gonna pull the background around. Later on, we may wanna put a chroma key up, but this is gonna be Ryan. I'm gonna go and put Dunlop on the main set with that background behind him. It's gonna be the monitor, okay? So I know that right now, camera one will be shooting Ryan and camera two will be shooting Dunlop. When I set up my shots, I like to know what my talent is looking at, and I like to set up my monitors so the talent is looking at each other. This semester is kind of weird because we don't have both talents on the same set, but we want to kind of give it the illusion that they are. Okay, so right now I know that camera one is going to be shooting Ryan. Camera two is going to be shooting Dunlop. Normally I have a camera three that has both of my talent in it. So if they're both talking at the same time or reacting to each other, I have a two shot. Or if I get lost in my script, I have a two shot, which is a safety. I don't have that this semester. So what we have is mini ME1. And it's going to be that two shot, the two pictures next to each other. So if for some reason I need to have both talent, especially too if I get lost in my script, it's my good safety, I have it there. ME, and we'll talk about this the more we move through the semester. ME stands for mixed effects. It means that I'm combining effects. So the ME bus lets me do some special effects. Okay, so I know where my talent is going to be sitting and what camera they're going to be facing. So now I can start marking my script. Anything that I write in red on my script means ready. Anything that I write in blue or black means execute. So that could either be a take or dissolve. That can represent dissolve, it's crossing. Because I use codes in my script, I don't have to spell everything out. I've got a symbol for a dissolve. It comes from a crescendo or a decrescendo. We can also use these for fade up or down. Here is my script. We've gone over in class and you can see it in the, the form that I gave you about laying information to tape that we have to plan out what's going to happen in our countdown because when we hit zero, we want our show to start. We don't want to be getting ready to fade things up when my show already starts, because then I'll have black online and that will be yucky. 
So I want to start getting things ready in my script. So first thing I have to do, if we look at our script, on the audio it says fade up music. So first thing I'm going to do is ready music. And then I know that it's going to tell me I see Dunlop sitting at a desk and the shot pulls out. Right now I know that Dunlop is on camera two, so I'm going to ready two. Okay, then I need to change colors because things are going to start happening. At three in my countdown, I will fade up music. and fade up two. One of the things that I want to remember when I am directing is the term audio before video. Audio takes longer to happen than video does. It takes longer for me to fade up my audio and to cue my talent than it does for me to push a button to see them talking. So when I am directing, I am always going to ready audio first. So I've readied music, ready to, I fade up music, I fade up camera two. So now I see Dunlop's hands on the computer keyboard. So I've got a ready what is going to happen next. I want a ready title. We'll have a title that pops up that says money. I want to start a pull out of two and then insert the title. We'll be using that key bus. We'll hit the key one button, and we'll bring money in on top of it. Next, I'm going to ready mic and cue, because I have to get them ready to start talking. So what this does is it tells my audio op that I'm going to open up the microphone, and it tells my floor manager I'm going to get ready to drop my hand to have them start talking. Lose title, mic and cue. So the floor manager has dropped their hand and Dunlop starts to talk and he says yes. Because we don't have that wide shot, this semester, it's going to be a lot of cutting back and forth. Again, if we get lost, we always have mini ME1, but let's just start marking it as if we're going to be cutting back and forth. Don't forget, I will also post what the mark script looks like in Canvas. So after this is all done, and if you are confused and maybe missed a cue, if you go into Canvas, you can see the fully marked script. So Dunlop says yes. So Dunlop, we're on two. We have to get ready for one. We're going to ready one. So grab your red pen, make a line, pull it all the way over to the end of the page. And then after yes, take your blue or black pen, make a line, pull it over the end of the page, and circle one. Next, Ryan says it says outside bank. So we need to ready two. At the beginning, pretty much of it, let's ready two. And between outside and bank, we will take two. When we take our next camera, we want to take it between the last two words. If I wait and I take it too early, I'm going to sit on the next person who's supposed to be talking, and we're not going to see them. If I take it too late, we sit on the person who finished talking, and I'll be late coming to the next person. So between those last two words. So now I'm on camera two. We see Dunlop. Dunlop says this is a bank. So while he's talking, I need to ready one. And between the and bank, I will take one. Okay, Ryan is talking, banks have money, plush carpets, tellers. So between carpets and tellers, let's ready two. And between store and front, 
we're going to take to. Now, one of the things I want you to look at before I move down on the script is this becomes easy to read. It's easier than having a lot of chicken scratch on the side of your script. So anywhere I see red, I know I need to call ready. Anywhere I see blue with the circle, I need to say take or dissolve. But so that I can just read down when I hear the words, ready one, take one. Ready two, take two. Ready one, take one. Ready two, take two. So it does happen kind of fast. And don't be afraid of readying. You can always ready. I don't care if we ready a little early. I don't care if we ready two or three times. It just lets everybody know what's going to happen. I'm going to pan down on the script, and we'll keep going. All right, Dunlop says it's all done by hidden computers, safer that way. Let's ready one, and then between Ben and Rob, we will take one. Okay, Ryan is talking. I want to open a new account. I'm going to put it between account and I heard. Let's ready two. And between new and accounts, we're going to take two. You heard that, did you? OK, so let's you and heard. Let's ready one. And did and you. We'll take one. What's that, a squirt gun? Between what's and that, let's ready two. And between squirt and gun, let's take two. OK, we're moving on to the second page of our script. Dunlop says it looks like a squirt gun. So we have to ready one, because we're going to go back to Ryan. So between squirt and gun, let's ready one. And between children and items, let's take one. Ryan, you're holding me up. So between up and this, let's ready two. And the and BBB, we're going to take two. All right, Better Business Bureau, huh? We're seeking to do a better business. So let's ready one. And pockets and please, let's take one. Ryan takes stuff out of his pocket. So we, we're going to hold on him a little longer. So let's I'm not. Let's ready two. And between my and friends, we'll take two. Don't you have any money? So let's ready one. Between don't and you and any and money, let's take one. OK, now coming up on your script, I call this Ryan's soliloquy. He's going to talk for a while. But what we don't want is to sit on him for a long period of time, because it gets boring. And what we can do is that we can go and show the audience a shot of Dunlop. And what that will do is it will let my audience know what Dunlop is thinking. He could be bored. He could be annoyed. There could be lots going on. He's playing with his phone. I'm not sure. Whatever you guys want to do. But what it'll do is it'll give the audience an insight to what Dunlop is thinking. So I just want you to follow me with this, and we'll go through it. So he says, I did have $500, but I went to open an account at the bank the next block down. Between the and bank, let's ready to. OK, so we're getting ready to see Dunlop for his reaction. And then between service and charges, so another 150 for checks, several dozen minor service charges, let's take two. So now we're sitting on a shot of Dunlop as he's listening to Ryan. We have to get ready to go back to one to Ryan to see him while he finishes his talk. So the line, paying in cash use of banks air. Let's ready one. And we're going to take it after $100. I ended up owing them money. So for I, I want to see him back on camera. So let's take one. Now we see Ryan on camera finishing up his talk. We got to get back now to Dunlop. 
So between money and hay, let's ready two. And we take it between of and here. Okay. So now Dunlop is talking. We're a frugal bank. So between bank and we, let's ready one. And the and street, we'll take one. Let me do that too. Ryan says, so I can just walk out of here. So let's ready two, and of here, we will take two. Okay, certainly is quick. When you are the talent, don't go and answer it so fast. So I can just walk out of here? Certainly. That doesn't give your director time to get from shot to shot. So if you are a talent, and Ryan says, so I can just walk out of here, in your head, take a breath. Certainly. So it gives your director time to direct. So at the very beginning of certainly, we will ready one. And after they say certainly, we will take one. Kind of help. OK, last page of our script. Ryan, and there's no service charge. Let's ready two. And there's ready two. And between service and charge, we'll take two. Dunlop, there's no charge for anything. So we're going to ready one. And then we will take one. Ryan, let's say I open a savings account for 500. Okay, if we notice on the script, right now it says two shot. I'm going to cross that off just because I don't think it's going to work right now with the way that we have our setup. And I want to keep directing. And then when it says fade to black, I'm going to wait a little bit. I want to see another shot of Dunlop kind of playing and doing whatever he might be doing there. Okay, so a Dunlop reaction shot. So we'll get to that. So Ryan says, let's say I open an account for $500. So between five and dollars, let's ready to. And between cost and me, let's take two. Okay, so Dunlop is talking. Just like certainly, let's ready one and take one. So talent, give it a breath. Ryan, how late are you open? It's going to take me a while to get back here with my money. Where it says, um, after that, I want to go and do a Dunlop reaction shot. Just so it'll be a cleaner ending. So Ryan is talking. How late are you open? Let's ready two. And my and money. Let's take two. And then with Dunlop reaction shot, let's ready black. And then let's fade to black. And again, you can use either the decrescendo representing fade to black, or you can write it out. Whatever makes you happy. I am flexible with either way.